Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on expanding a pair of brackets containing up to three terms. So we want to expand and simplify this expression here where we've got a product of two brackets and what makes this harder than some of the previous questions we've done is that okay we've got two things in this bracket we've got two terms here but we actually have three terms in the other bracket and the principle for expanding brackets is this multiply each term in the first bracket by each term in the second so that is the key principle for expanding two brackets so we're going to apply that principle here so we're going to do each thing in this bracket times each thing in this. So I'm going to do the first thing here times each of the things in the second bracket. So I'm going to do this times that and this times that. So first times first, first times second. And I'm going to do the next thing in the first bracket. So the second thing times each thing in the second bracket. So second times first, second times second. And I'm going to do the third thing times each of the things in this bracket. So third times first and third times second. The order doesn't actually matter, but it makes sense to do it in a kind of like a nice order, a systematic order. So I'm going to do this first term here, the 6x squared, and multiply it by each of the things in the second bracket. So let's do the arrows, the usual things. We do the first times the first. 6x squared times 2x. Well, 6 times 2 is 12. And x squared times x. We've got an additional x, so it's going to be x cubed. The power goes up by 1. And then we do the first times the second. So we do 6x squared times minus 3. Well, what's 6 times minus 3? Well, positive times negative is negative, and 6 times 3 is 18, so it's minus 18. And then we just got that x squared here. There's no x's here, so it's just x squared. And now we've done the first thing in this first bracket times each of the things in the second. So we don't have to do anything more with that 6x squared. Now we're going to do this second thing times each of the things in the second bracket. So we do the minus 3x times the first thing here. So minus 3x times 2x, or minus 3 times 2, Negative times positive is negative, so it's minus 6. And x times x is x squared. And then we do the second times the second thing. So the minus 3x times minus 3. Well, minus 3 times minus 3. Negative times negative is positive. Be really careful about that. 3 times 3 is 9, so it's positive 9. And we've got an x there, haven't we? No x here, so it's just x. And then finally... We've done the first thing times each of these things. We've done the second thing times each of these things. We've now got the third thing times each of these things here. So we've got to do the 1 times the 2x and the 1 times the minus 3. So we've got the 1 times the 2x, and sorry, this is getting a bit messy. 1 times 2x, well, 1 times anything is just going to be itself, so 1 times 2x is just 2x. And 1 times minus 3 is just minus 3. And we've done every single possible combination now. Now the second stage is just to collect like terms. So we want to collect like terms. And remember that terms are like terms if they have the same variables and the same powers. So for example, um, we've got an x cubed term here. Can we see anything else with x cubed? Well, no, that's x squared, that's just x, that's x. That doesn't have any x at all. We call that a constant term. So we've just got the 12x cubed. What about the x squared? Well, I sometimes like to underline these. We've got the minus 18x squared. And we've got another x squared term, we've got minus 6x squared, well minus 18 lots of x squared, minus 6 lots of x squared, well minus 18 minus 6 is minus 24, so it's minus 24 lots of x squared. So that's all the x squared terms, what about the x terms, one without a power? So we've got the plus 9x and we've got the plus 2x, 9 lots of x plus 2 lots of x is 11 lots of x. And finally we've got the non-x term, that one, the term that doesn't have an x in it also known as a constant term, and that's the minus 3, so we got that at the end. And that is our final answer.